Uh, the building was built in about 2001 and my wife Judith and I moved in in January 2002. And at that time there were 73 lights on in the stair and corridor areas and they were on 24 hours a day. They were on literally every second of the year. Whatever the weather, whatever the conditions, whatever movement there was in the block. I'm a war baby and I've grown up you know, with the idea that you never waste anything if you can avoid it. I started doing some readings in the uh, meter room. And at one time I was looking at the meter twice a day and found out that the uh, total consumption was 100 kilowatt hours a day, roughly. And I worked out that the lights were probably taking about half of that. It was 10p a unit, that would be £1,800 a year. I, I made various inquiries and a local organisation came round in 2005, had a look at what we had here, and said they really thought there was nothing else we could do. At that time, uh, it was thought that fitting motion sensors around the place would be too expensive, so we thought we were stuck. The first breakthrough was when um, a man called John Heath, who was a resident in the block and had many years in the electricity supply industry, had a brainwave and he said, why can't we remove some of the surplus lights? And uh, that was in fact done. 21 lights were taken out and the remainder were re-spaced to give more even lighting around the corridors. And that saved approximately 30% of the lighting cost at a stroke. So by that time I was getting a bee in my bonnet because electricity prices were going up. And I thought, well, we've made quite a substantial saving. You know, we've saved uh, 21 out of 73 lights, but we've still got the 52 left. And so we really need to do something about that. We had a six month inspection by an outside agency to check all the light outputs and they were beginning to report a lot of these lights were getting to the failure stage. So we were having to look at the possibility of replacing all our existing lights. You've got um, 28 watt fittings at the moment uh, with the compact fluorescence. Well, then I uh, was talking to my son-in-law one day who ran his own uh, environmental business and he started to talk about LED lights which were just in the infancy in those particular days. So this, this is one I, uh, I put together uh, with using the, the microwave sensor so I can actually show it working and you can see how bright the lamps are as well. So uh, if you wait just a few seconds, um, the green light is for the emergency side of things and that's showing that it's charging the battery. But uh, if you wait just a few seconds and then you should be, there you go, a um, little bit of movement and that shows it working. So I went online to see if we could find some sources of light fittings. I also went down to the local wholesaler in Lancaster, got prices from him. And the prices were quite uh, astounding. They ranged from 12 or 14 pounds to the cheapest, right up to 30 or 40 pounds for what appeared to be exactly the same type of unit. But eventually we came across a company online who appeared to have exactly what we wanted. We got a quotation from the company who does our inspections for the replacement of them. And they quoted us nearly £7,000 for replacing all the lights in our system on a like-for-like -like basis. All the investigations and research we'd done into the LED system that we were looking at showed us that we could actually put an LED system in here complete with the emergency packs and the individual motion sensors fitted in the building for a total cost of £6,700, and that's what it ultimately cost. So not only was it fractionally cheaper than a like-for-like -like system, but we then ended up with a system which has a huge saving in energy costs. The savings that we are achieving at the moment are between 55 and 60%. We're probably saving somewhere around about 15 to 1,600 pounds per year in putting an LED system in here. I think I was the uh, constant nagger, really, more than anything else. You know, I kept on about it, bringing up at uh, AGMs and that sort of thing. I'm very satisfied with what we've got now. When I come out of my door, uh, there's the light, gives me plenty of illumination to get down to the lift. And by the time I've got the lift arriving, the lights have gone out.
and I feel very good about <laughs> the fact that uh, the waste is uh, minimal. One of the things about LEDs too, our LED lights are on for so little length of time, we have a sneaking feeling that they are going to outlive everybody in this building. <laughs> <laughs>